just look at some of the things that we find is interesting and pick up sometimes you know it may be just trash like this old hat it may be a bottle uh actually a land shark bottle right yeah, steph that's right we found the land shark remember <laughs> the yellow and red sea coral we have some knob whelk shells dark black one here and look at all the colors in this one pretty black Boy, sand fish. dollars tons of angel wings some real beauties in here which i'm saying real beauties as in they're a little odd they're you know gray in color versus the white that you're mostly seeing and these are you know some of what we call the blue knob whelk pear whelks here all types of little beach finds so far and what we're going to do is we're going to walk on down this beach with you guys and look that's what the video is this real life seashell yeah taking you on a virtual walk our real life beach exploring mud larking beach combing yeah i had wanted to do the show on this cannonball jellyfish the little sanderlings the little shorebirds were just up here eating off of it and once we walk away of course they'll go back to their business of having some lunch but we show you guys jellyfish a lot so this is kind of a fresher one that they're just now starting to break down and it hadn't dried out very much yet and it makes me question at this time you know were they just trying to open it up to get down into uh sometimes these cannonball jellyfish that have little riders with them they're up under this little bell right here and it'll be little crabs maybe the birds were trying to get that out i don't know yep and now you got that red ink on your fingers you see how the these cannonball jellyfish this color right here it does come off pretty easily so here we go and it does stain so I can hands all over. Y'all see his clothes, y'all see you over on the side of my head from the same tree. It's almost impossible doing the things that we do. Oh, and look at this sand coming across here. We're getting wind blown by some sand coming in right here. And I don't i hope the camera is picking up how beautiful it is surrounded by nothing but nature here it was a fine mist of sand yeah. just blowing in the wind yeah i hope they can see it that's pretty We're just surrounded by beauty some of the beach birds or shore birds just flew over and awesome so how many people out here just love the simple life hey, pick me, pick me. the beach walks Hear those shells are rattling. Almost looked like a shark eye, but look here. It shark led me to this. Yeah, a shark tooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this right here just got your bone puzzle, didn't it? It did. Yeah. And look, this right here, just by the loop on the end, I think it's part of uh, maybe an old trawl net. We see a lot of them washed up out here. And I was going to show them this oyster. Wow, that's a huge one. It is, and you can see the curve in it. I believe this one's called the devil's ear, and they have that particular shape. But look how orange it is on the inside, like it was up against something metal and rusted it or something. And look and at it's the thick. thickness. Oh, sorry. I thought she was holding it. My bad. 
you look at this or this little one or this little one once you get down here there's lots of little beauties to find there's even another one there and how are you gonna what are you gonna do with them i mean they're so tiny i put them in my little thing right here that little that little mesh there is pretty small. It'll keep up with things pretty small. Ooh, look at that baby's ear too. Stop just to focus in on that. Found another pretty. You got lots of treasures there, young lady. Yeah. And I'm just looking for more. That's what I was about to say. Looking for beach treasures. Yeah, there's tons of beautiful shells down here. We just have lots of certain types of shells in our area. Tuna and oysters. But, and this is a very common one for us too, but we do um, gather those up. They are gorgeous. Sand dollar. And even though it is dark in color, you can see it's actually has hardly any even filial left. It is dried out. It is deceased. Put it with your fragiles? I put it with my fragiles and sand dollars and angel wings in there. Oh, part of the starfish. Couldn't see for looking. It's a mermaid bracelet, what I call them. It's just these two worm little hulls with coquina shells stuck all to it. We've been seeing a good many of those. Like, there's one, there's one, there's one. Shark eye. Typical little drill mark. Wow, what's that bright orange I'm seeing up there? Oh, it looks like a big whale. I hope it's whole. <laughs> That's a beauty. Look how bright orange it is laying there, Steph. Wow, this is quite a find. I think this is even more rare than the blue whelk in our area. This is an awesome treasure. And we weren't walking the high tide line yet, but wow. wow. Look there. That is what we call a beauty, right? Yep. This looks like she belongs on my steps really, really bad. Look at the colors in this thing. It's amazing. Beautiful. And look at this guys when you're picking up your shells always When you learning about shells look for these ones that you know, they may be a tiny little chip there But the water has really rubbed this shell back down to almost its original condition, right? This shell is almost perfect in shape the little knobs each one each shell is always going to be different this one's kind of short you know you can see sometimes we show you the ones with the big 
tall knobs but just the color of this shell right here it is awesome i'm telling you. awesome and i just noticed it it had marked itself i don't even see it now yes it marked itself with that little b there for beautiful i can see it mm -hmm. gorgeous that's exciting so right here here's another one a lot more faded out and these are the type of shells right here you know you could be amazed uh, what the mineral mineral oil just rubbing it on it will do bring about th back these blue colors that you see in here or even if you wet this shell but you know wetting it just dries that out it dries out way too fast when you just use water so people can use mineral oil to make their shells have this color right here which i'm amazed by still <laughs> me too i love these what a day thank you lord <clears throat> you want to go back down or you want to stay up here that shell right there that orange whelk i'm telling you it was worth the walk it was yeah, worth the trip yes, sir. it's well, amazing i don't know if y'all from that aren't from the south know about that thing but yes sir revive that was a nice one there Ooh, what you talking about look at this mermaid bracelet let's see how that holds up it's actually already dry I can tell just by the difference in the weight of it that it's a lot drier than the ones we normally pick up. So I'm going to see if that'll kind of hold together like that. We'll see. Put it with my really delicates. I'm kind of assuming as it dries out, it may just flake apart, but I don't know. Look at these pretty pieces of driftwood. Well, they're stumps stuck in the sand, really from where trees used to stand here. We do have a lot of erosion along our coastlines. Look at that big black oyster. Taller than my hand, almost as wide as my hand, and just such a pretty blue black color. It's almost like a blue color on that side and almost black on that side. Even though I don't keep those a lot, I do definitely, I do definitely, I do appreciate their colors and how pretty they are still. I'm just very limited on space, so I have to be careful what I choose. Pretty little pin shell, little teeny one. Oliver's catching up with us. I think he did stop to take some photos for you guys that are on Facebook. Make sure y'all check out Facebook group, Salty Reflections, as well as the Salty Reflections Facebook page. We do know YouTube is not always as easy to understand and a lot of people don't understand it. So we do post our videos on Facebook for the people who don't really know how to watch them on YouTube. But you know, hopefully they got they can catch us on Facebook for those of you who are trying. And you know, it's for those days that we spend coming out here trying to make these videos or trying to just, you know, get a little glimpse of what we see as beauty and share with others that don't make it to YouTube. And the uh, Salty Reflections group, I'm proud of it. We're looking at about 3,000 members right now in the group. And I really appreciate each and every one of you that can go over that, check it out. You know, hit a like on some of the posts if you want to. Yeah. It'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah, share them and send them to your friends and family who love beach exploration as well. Tell them about the boy. 
or the man in South Carolina and the lady. They keep carrying you along on these beach journeys down this beautiful beach. Look at it. It's amazing. It is gorgeous. These blue skies. It's winter time, so, well, I actually just turned spring. Our coasts still have a little bit of tealish colors in their water. The fresh waters that run into our oceans haven't stained it back brown as deep yet as it will during the summer when the algae grows more. A little bit of trash. Beach trash. Hashtag beach cleanup. You think we should go check out the, this little stream since it's low tide right now, stuff? I think so. Ooh, I got them shells shaking, no? <laughs> Come across some ripples. You know, I love to see those ripples in the sand. That's just a pretty pattern the Lord makes. I like to hear them shell jingle. <laughs> <laughs> I say when you're barefooted out here, these little ripples are almost like a massage. Pick them out. And it ripples that way all the way into this little tide I pool. I thought about something, even though I was saying I like to hear them shells jingling, and I kind of started thinking about that big orange and all the wealth, and then I'm like, how about if that thing gets chipped? I'm <laughs> slowing down. <laughs> this old boy has on the downhill side of things. I'm starting to slow down. We'll check these tide pools out, see what we see. Oh, and look at what I see. Or just now I have to check out the rest of it. I already offered up one beautiful one. And I can kind of see all the way to the end of it. I'm looking for either these points or you know any of this shape sticking out of the ground. Out in this area, they could be almost completely covered. I mean, we've found them with just nothing but a little bit of the tip sticking out. Matter of fact, I see some tips sticking out right there. What were we making? This always, you know, helps us give you reference to where we are when we come down the beach. And we're glad that we can make it down this far today because in this area right here, we usually find a lot of finds because people seem not to come down here quite as far as we do. Pretty angel wing. And there's a pretty knobbed whelk right there. That's what had us walking over in this direction. Ooh, pretty. Full of sand. All of our spots. Ooh, look at that big spiral out of it. The siphonal canal out of it. Very cool. That's a really cool skeleton there. This one, oh, and there's another broken one there, but really pretty one there. Oh, it's broken too, but it's still pretty. It's got pretty colors. And this is one reason why we wear shoes guys and right now it's still kind of cold so we just have our boots on but this area is covered in pluff mud whereas you see a lot of it's sandy and then there's pluff mud areas but we want to be able to walk through this mud at times and be able to see what's in it and you definitely want to wear shoes because you will sink and look at there's things like this underneath some of this mud too that will slice your foot wide open. Woohoo, I'm glad I walked over here. Look at this beauty. Gorgeous. You see something? All right, let me pick this one up too. 
me check it out good because there could be hermits up here in the tide pool. I don't see anything, but I'll put it in my cart and in a place where if he walks, I'll be able to tell it. Got too much in my hands already. Pretty olive shell. And a handful of beauties trekking back through this mud. Like I said, you would not want to walk through here barefooted. Not leisurely anyway. Look at all these beauties. Handful. Trying to get them organized. Organized. We're right here. Try to get oh, the ghost crab. No, down. you're going to have to do that because you'll be faster. And there's a pretty pear wilt right there, too. Well, it's broken. Is it? Yep. It's a tech here. I think most of them are here. So you try. Huge ghost crab. It's alive. Why is this man picking on me? Why is this man picking on me, man? He's saying, put me in your cart. You, you don't want to go in my cart, sweetie, I promise. We eat crabs at our house. Not the ghost crabs. No, y'all got, you guys are too So little. we're going to leave you alone, little time. But you better move out of the way of my wheels, though. Go on about your day. Bye-bye. Go on. Whoop. Easy. There you go. That was cool to see. We'll let him alone. I had just seen something and now I don't. Oh, I do. It's the camouflage. Look at how pretty that big thing is right there. Here, I wouldn't want to drag that through there. See it? Say this is sure. blue gray. I would say it's a blue gray too because this right here is almost like black and orange. It's so dark blue that it's almost black in spots. You can definitely see the blue versus what I would call the darker areas right in there the gray, light grays and dark grays. But I might be a little colorblind myself. What you think about this stuff? Awesome. Oh, and it's got the coral on it. Oh. That coral right there, though. <laughs> you gonna keep it? Yeah, it just, it's leaving me no choice with that coral. That's pretty. One of our commons. This is a common one for us. Razor clam. There's lots of those out here. It's just a five valve. It has another half exactly like that. Look at here. 
like a blue prickly cockle or egg cockle. I think it's probably the egg cockle, actually, now that I turn it over. See how oblong it is. Trash? Same. What? Two in one day? Ooh. I hear you hollering. That's right there. Wow, that thing is massive. It is huge. I hope it's not broken. Oh my goodness, check that baby there out. Wow, it does have some breaking around its lip there at the edge, but that is still a beauty. We and keep it right. Would, oh yeah, yeah. Some people would pick all these oysters off, but I'll just leave them. Core, just you gonna have to get yeah, some of that sand, out, sand of it. out. Let's carry it right down here to the water's edge, Steph, and let's rinse it real quick. Give them a little look at that. Look how shallow it is. We got to go look some more. <laughs> this one is occupied with a hermit. We're going to leave it alone. Hope y'all are enjoying this beach walk. Don't forget to hit that like button. Well, we're looking and we're looking, but not many finds. But you need to check these areas if you're looking for those ones that maybe somebody overlooked. This might be the next spot that you're going to find that awesome find. Got to put in that time. Get out. 
on the beaches and walk. Get you some exercise in, we all need it, right? You're not moving that piece of driftwood. And we can see our footprints where we walked in here a while ago, so we'll just change course a little. Look at the size of that car. Oh, a little busted up. Ooh. cluster of oysters and look at the wormholes in them or the wormhole build up maybe interesting We'll be right over. I'm gonna pick him up. We got a little tiny shark out of there first. But check out this guy. It may just be the shell, I haven't messed with it yet, but the way it's kind of dug down into like a little bit of a wallow, I think it may still be alive. Nope, it's just the shell, I can tell from the weight. Huge. That's a beautiful shell. It is. With all the barnacles it on it. have a little crack right there, but. This is 24 inches from the tip of his tail to the top of his head right there, guys. Ladies. I was looking for one already cleaned out, so. You're gonna keep it? Yeah. yeah. I just had to throw all mine away. All mine that I had out in my flower beds had gotten really old. Oh, uh, look at here. A little sea anemone. Or a little sea cucumber. I'm gonna put him back in the water, but look at that big black and blue cockle. You gonna keep it? Oh yeah, the cockle, I'm gonna keep that, but. I'll put that little fella back out in the water because okay. I'm not sure if he's a piece or not. So I'm gonna Rug. Laying here on this very island beach that got brought out here by the winds and waves and tides.
we don't these aren't as common here so look at there a little lightning whelk oh pretty piece of coral and a pretty shark eye shell that black and pink in it There's your footprints in the sand. Now look at this here stuff. Check those points out right there. Oh yeah. That looks like a good one. Mm, got some. I'm gonna have to wiggle it a little bit. There you go. Cause this, this ground's hard. Oh, it's a little shorty. Tips broke. What? Yeah. Let me throw these in the wagon. That's still a beauty. Do you want it? Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. What about this one? What? I'll clean this up for him. Let's see what it looks like. Love those. And these right here are oysters and they are still alive. They're they attached are. to this little whelp. They are still alive too. And this is what that little broken down one looked like. I'm gonna leave it right here. As you guys know, we can pick up plenty of shells, but we leave lots of shells too. For sure. Just look around. Look at this big olive right here. There, she dug out too. Pretty, pretty. Jam packed full of shells. There's another olive and another whelk right here with the oysters growing on it too. Well, got, got a few live oysters still that I'm going to put in the water. So, guys, we've already brought you all the way down this to the end of this beach at this point you know we're right here by this little creek that separates the two islands where we come shelling and we're about to head back down the high tide line if you guys are liking these shelling videos or would like to come along on these beach exploring videos please go ahead and hit that like button for us hit that subscribe button and we'll try to put in the work just by each and every one of you uh, watching it helps us out because the more views you know the few the more pennies that's right i would call it pennies so yeah hey. but it's a beach journey we love it little periwinkle with a little live hermit in it i was hoping he would come out to show you guys but we'll just put him back and here's a little look at what we got with you so far make sure you come back and check out the next videos with us